Hey guys, it's Roxanne here. So um, I thought I would quickly jump on and have a chat to you guys about our journey and what we are actually doing at the moment. It's pretty crazy. Pete mentioned that um, the brothers went to Arrhythmia in uh, Costa Rica and we are also going to be doing that as well. So we leave in November 2019 and uh, at the moment it's September, it's springtime and things are changing for us. So back in July, the boys went to Arrhythmia and at the same time, my awakening journey started so basically what happened was I had a big fight or I was triggered by Pete and um, look I just it was nothing that he actually did but I just was triggered by the general household stuff so um, I knew that I had some pretty deep um, things that I needed to work on in relation to men and some trauma from my childhood so I decided to take a week out and I got regrounded. I moved over to the beach in a unit and uh, took the kids and had a bit of a chill out time. Now in that time I was writing, I was journaling, I was doing a fair bit of emotional clearing and it was all to, to do with um, some childhood trauma that I have been through and um, and with some some generational um, trauma as well um, so some fears worries sadness grief all this really sad stuff and so I took the time out and um, that's super important to do so I did that and I did a lot of journaling I had no idea what was happening it was a full moon at the day that I moved out of home so to speak and uh, Pete was a little bit confused as well so after a few days um, I let him know when I could actually finally speak I let him know that yep I have to work on myself and he knew exactly so um, he was um, pleased <laughs> It wasn't gonna be a breakup, but um, yeah, sometimes you just don't know like how to communicate and I just needed time out and I needed my space. So I think I did the right thing, but I guess I could have communicated that a little bit earlier, but it's super hard when you're in the moment and you're feeling overwhelmed with emotion that's coming to you. So that really happened, that happened for me. Um, so I was grounded, my toes were in the sand every morning and afternoon and I was journaling flat out. I'd take the kids to school and daycare and I'd be by myself all day. I kind of put insurance and our Amazon business on hold and I just was like focusing on me which was really, really good for me. So I progressed a lot. There was a full moon, there was energy and vibrations happening and I had no idea what was happening at the time, to be honest with you. I just knew that I needed some time out. So I did that and uh, came back uh, renewed, inspired mummy into the household. But uh, soon we learnt about Rhythmia. The boys came back and told us and they have said that they've been the happiest they've ever been their whole entire lives, which was pretty surprising and inside of me I was thinking oh, I don't know if Pete would be into this and I like the idea of it but you know junky uh, going over there and clearing out emotions and drinking uh, plant medicine is something that oh, I don't know too much about so um, look long story short Pete said sounds like we have to do it guys and then everything started <laughs> things started happening crazy like fast so that was July this year and it's now September so what's that only three months so in that three months the next week basically we inquired with Rhythmia we learned a little bit more we started watching videos we started um, listening to awakening on YouTube we learned a lot about what happens and these types of things and we we're very still we we're still confused we were um, confused with prayers to God journaling what to do we're like where are we going with this so um, Dan suggested we had a we have a, um, a a reading from a lady in America and it's a healing reading so basically you sit at you, you set up a time and you don't talk or communicate over the phone you sit and meditate for the hour that she is connecting with her um, spirit guides and she does a reading and and Pete and I went one after each other on a day, like probably two months ago, and um, what came out of it was pretty crazy. So from that point on, um, there was a lot of healing for me, like nearly every second day, it was up and down, up and down, um, upset, sadness, grief, childhood memories were coming to me. So I'm, you know, feeling all this emotion coming up. Pete's 
starting to journal as well, which is odd for him. He never used to do that. His tool is going for swims in the ocean, which is really nice. And he kind of gets some clarity and calms his mind and refocuses and ready to go again, you know, um, with the ocean. But for me, I don't know, I've got a lot more trauma, I guess, to work through. Um, and you know, it's not that someone has more than another person, but it's just the journey that we've been on and what we have to kind of get through. So anyway, um, we ended up working, or we've been working on emotions, motion clearing. So when we need time out, we just step aside and we say, hey, babe, you'll have to take the reins and look after the kids, just need a couple of hours. So we've been doing that. And uh, we signed up to Rhythmia, we're all set to go. So Rhythmia is a life advancement center. Um, in America and we're signed up to go it seems crazy there's been emotions coming like I'm scared of what's gonna happen I'm nervous that you know is it a trippy thing I don't want to be like associated with like druggy a trippy thing or anything like that I've done a lot of research around the plant medicine which is cool and um, I'm finding that I'm settling with the thoughts of it and I definitely there's something within me that definitely wants me to go I want to go it's saying to me go um, through the reading that I did with Caroline in the States she introduced um, some education around your guides and that you know you are God created us and in each of us we have a spark of God and we are all special individually everyone here on earth is special has a special element to them and it's held deep down inside of them and when you have an awakening process you start realizing that now I've started realizing that and becoming into this place where I'm having more self-love for myself which I had to work through because I, I had low self-confidence um, I had a lot, a lot of emotional trauma when I was little and um, so I had to kind of go deep down into that and come back out and pull it all up kind of if you think about a boat's anchor you're pulling it all up but so it feels really good and um, and yeah so from there what happened I mean we had the, the reading I asked if we should be going to Rhythmia and it said you know you're gonna you know fast track a lot of your emotional clearing if you did it'll be really good for you and Pete to do it so that's why we signed up but also inside of us we knew that there was a bigger understanding of this somewhat like this awakening thing we didn't we don't know exactly what it is so we're just we're just showing you as we go um, anyway so I learned through my reading that God's plan was for everyone to be together and look after each other and that you don't have to go through a religious path or go to church like the old history books say everyone can be in their own space at home um, praying but also the best thing that I've learned was that you everyone has a spirit team a spirit angel guides that you know, you know when you hear something in the back of your head and go, I should do that, or you have an intuition, you go, oh, I should do that. You know, these are your guides deep down in you, pushing you, nudging you. So I don't know if you ever feel like, you know, you run into someone at the shops that you haven't ran into for ages or something like this, and it's just them pulling the, pulling the strings and um, I'm learning. So um, the, the high spirit, guides in my healing session said that we should be doing a lot more meditation at least twice a day and and silent not non-guided and so we've been doing that and it's been really nice so it's super hard with kids and business but doing the meditation um, brings us clarity clears our minds just that quietness in your mind is really really important and um, I'm, we're finding that we're just happy people it's really good so in there I'm also asking and asking for the next thing to show me with my with my squad team my squad help <laughs> that's what I call my angel guides um, and yeah I'm forming this relationship with them they're like friends it's not like um, save me or help me it's like hey guys um, so I'm ready now you can show me the next thing that I need to work on or you know just this talk with them and every night before we go to sleep we're saying thanks and you know showing our appreciation and I always say how grateful I am and you know I also say bring me the love and the light that I need at this point in time so that's really cool um, 
So that's what we're doing. We are on this journey. It's a wild journey. It's happening very fast. Um, Pete and I want it, want um, to be the happiest and the cleared emotional presence that we can be because we know that if everything is flowing and the energy is right, like life fl flows and is beautiful too. And you know, you, obviously you still have your days and stuff, but that's cool. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> and this is just uh, video one of Roxy <laughs> and Pete awakening. Pete's done an awakening video already and uh, he was keen for me to sit here and tell you all what I have experienced so far. So I'm um, on the path. Hopefully we can help teach you um, and give you some insights as to what we've done to get to where we are. And um, we'll see how we go. We'll see what this path takes us and um, we'll use our guides and we'll be healthy. We'll use our plant diet. We'll, you know, just trying to be the best version of ourselves once again. And, you know, hopefully eventually we'll be able to help other people um, if they need if they need it or if they want it, we can, we can help them. So that's, that's really cool. All right. Bye for now.